making Jesus the mark in your life, it's not about you anymore. It's about changing your life, discovering the weak points in your own life so that you can transform them and overcome them through his power and through his grace. In this quote here, given in the book called The Kingship of Self-Control, written in 1898 by William George Jordan, he says the following, individual can attain self-control and great things only through self-control in little things. He must study himself to discover what is the weak point of his armor. What is the element within him that ever keeps him from his fullest success? This is the character upon which he should begin to exercise in self-control. Is it selfishness, vanity, cowardice, morbidness, temper, laziness, worry, mind wandering, lack of purpose? Whatever form human weakness assumes in the masquerade of life, he must discover. He must then live each day as if his whole existence were re-scoped down to a single day before him with no no useless regret for the past, no useless worry for the future. He should live that day as if it were his only day, the only day left for him to assert all that is best in him, the only day left for him to conquer all that is worse than him. He should master the weak element within him at each slight manifestation from moment to moment. Each moment then must be victory for it or for him. Will he be king or slave? The answer rests with him. Recently, I referenced a quote by William George Jordan in his book written in 1898. The kingship of self-control, which pinpoints that we should be looking for our weakness, that we can overcome it so that we can put Jesus as the mark and be perfected in him. I love how Brigham Young put this in 1860. He said, the greatest lesson you can learn is to learn yourself. You will then begin to learn more perfectly the things of God. No being can thoroughly learn himself without understanding more or less the things of God. Neither can any any being learn and understand the things of God without learning himself. He must learn himself or he can never learn God. So taking that in conjunction with what William George Jordan says and tying that into a Book of Mormon reference in Ether chapter 12 verse 27, when you come to know Jesus, when you put him as the mark in your life, he will show you your weakness and when you come with humility, he will help you turn that weakness with strength.